Today, we'll be uncovering things we never knew about everyday items, including Pokemon cards, as we're opening our own in the video thanks to Pokemon who've sponsored today's video. Ever wondered why there's a little dot on your iPhone? Yeah, I've got like a tiny one right there. It's literally my new. Yo, it's actually a third microphone. I didn't even know there were two. That helps with video recordings in crowded places. That's really smart. No way. What do you call this? I'm sure everyone would say it's a mouse. But did you know it was originally called a turtle? Which actually now I think about it makes so much more sense. With a hard shell on the top and slow moving parts in the middle. Turtle makes sense. But ultimately with the long tail and the fact that mice can move really, really quick. They changed the name. Ever wondered why some erasers have a red part? And then the other side is a blue part. Well, originally the red part was used for lighter paper. And the blue part for darker paper. But everyone just used the top part, so they changed it to be an eraser for pencils and pens. Can't lie, can't remember the last time I ever wrote anything. But if you're in school, that could be super useful. M and M's. What does it stand for? I'm going to say milk and munchies. Am I right? No, it stands for Mars and Murray. Is that both of their names? Okay, I'm going to guess the answer to this one. Both F and J... Yep, it's on my keyboard as well. You can check your own too. Have little marks on them. I believe this is for people that like touch type or maybe even blind people. They're there to help you know where the keys are without looking. I don't think I've ever thought of that. I just kind of type without thinking about it, but that's useful. Chocolate used to be considered medicine. Now I can get behind this. Cocoa wasn't discovered in Europe until the 1500s. And when it was, they were like, hmm, this would be a good medicine. And it actually did help cure some things back in the day, but don't eat it anymore thinking it'll cure a cold. It's just filled with sugar now. Ever wonder why there's these giant cylinders on the ends of all of your cables? It contains something called iron oxide. And it stops you from getting static shocks when you're putting anything that's charging on the end of your cable near other electric devices. Donuts! If you haven't already, hit the like button if you love donuts. But the reason there's a hole in the middle is actually on purpose. Look, let's just say that the donut was completely whole. And it was a giant circle when being cooked. To cook the donut all the way in the middle and on the outside... It would have to be cooked even longer. I mean, the outside would get burnt. So what they ended up doing was just cutting out a hole in the middle. So when it was cooked, the whole thing would cook perfectly. Ever wonder why a lot of pencils are colored yellow? Well, originally, the best graphite that would go along the middle of pencils was from China. So China colored all of the pencils yellow to let the world know that it was from there. Because the traditional color of Chinese royalty is yellow. Most people eat Toblerone wrong. Let me explain. If you're trying to like bite and chew the end bit off because it just won't break easily. All you need to do is get two bits like this, take one finger and press it here, another finger and press it here, and this empty space will cause the two bits to come together and now perfectly snap down the middle. Pokemon cards! Did you know there's been over 90 Pokemon trading card sets? And this one right here is the newest. This is the new Pokemon trading card Sword and Shield Silver Tempest expansion. And I have some of my own boosters to open thanks to Pokemon who sponsored today's video. I'm going to be hunting for the new V, V-Star and V-Max Pokemon cards. And my personal favourite, the new Radiant Pokemon cards. You can find out more about the new Silver Tempest expansion and even get some booster packs yourself by clicking the link in the description. I'm so excited to open these packs. If you know me, you know I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Pack number one, what are we gonna get? Oh, I'm actually so nervous. I hope we pull a banger. Ferro Seed. Pikachu, look at the artwork. Oh, oh, look at that. We've pulled two incredible cards. Ursa Luna V. The artwork is incredible. Our first V card. God. Pack number two. Can we beat that? Oh, Litten, one of my favorite fire starter Pokemon. Murkrow. <gasps> Radiant Alakazam. Alakazam, one of my favorite Pokemon. This is the shiny variant of Alakazam under the new Radiant Pokemon cards. This is actually one of the ones I really wanted to pull. Next up, we've got Rufflet. Some more incredible cards. <gasps> Another Radiant card. Radiant Jirachi. That is our second one. Our luck is incredible. I've got some of my favorite cards. We pulled some incredible cards, but there's so many more to collect. Don't forget 
forget, check out the new Silver Tempest expansion. Link in the description. And good luck opening your own booster packs. Beanie pom-poms. You see this part here? Why is it there? Well, originally used by Vikings, if they were on a ship or in a house and hit their head on a ceiling, this beautiful soft thing will lessen the blow. It won't hurt as much. It's actually a really smart idea. We all know the paper has this giant red line down there. But why is it there? Some of you may write notes on this side, but originally it was designed because rats were all over the house and they'd come along and they'd eat the edge of the paper. So all of this is designed to be eaten. So the rest of your notes are saved. I've never actually done this, but the tab on a soda can could be spun around and then you can put your straw in it so it stays in place. It makes so much sense. And I will have to try it the next time I drink from one. Ever wondered why there's this tiny hole in your window on a plane may make you a bit worried but don't worry it's there for a good reason it's got several features including allowing air to stop too much pressure building up in the plane and stops the window from fogging up meaning you can see all of those beautiful views out the window why is there a diamond shape on the back honestly i just say it was there for design but no if you're a hiker or a climber you can use it to attach rope through the back of the backpack to help store your rope and climb up safely but probably not that useful in school. Seriously useful information. The headrest can completely come out in a car if you hold down this button right here and pull upwards, which may seem silly, but it's not. If you're ever in a car and you find yourself trapped inside, take out the headrest and use the metal part of the poles to smash the window open to break yourself free. That is really clever and could save one of your lives. Okay, so apparently when you go up escalators, the brushes aren't for cleaning your shoes. Well, what are they there for then? Ah, so they're actually there to stop things getting stuck in the edges of the escalator. You know what? I'm going to keep on using them to clean my shoe. <gasps> Dipping sauce. Wait, 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 wait. Dipping sauce gets presented to you like this, but you are meant to pull the outer edges to create a giant little, like, open cup so you can, like, put your burger in or chicken nuggets, something that wouldn't fit in here. That's so sensible. Shopping trolleys. I mean, honestly, they've always seemed a bit weirdly designed to me, but if you look at all of these, all of these little bits that are sticking up, or most likely the best one here, and then you're shopping and everything in it can be held inside and you don't have to carry them. Very smart. You ever wondered why on a keyboard you've got J next to K and O next to P? Why isn't it in alphabetical order? When keyboards were first designed, they looked a little bit more like this. But notice how the letters are still in the same order as they are on our keyboards. It was actually to slow people down from typing so they couldn't type too fast. So that the keys wouldn't get jammed from typing too quickly. But now everyone can type so fast, it doesn't even matter. Super useful information inside all of your cards you'll see the gas pump indicator. But did you know the arrow either side of it tells you which side of a car you need to refuel on? So with an arrow on the right, you always want to make sure that the petrol pump's on the right side of your car. And if it's facing the other way, you know to do it on your left. And now you'll always know where to park for fuel. So apparently, the spoon is actually used as a part of... Whoa, to mix up the ice cream. You don't eat through it. You use it to mix. How did no one ever know this? Do you think Slinky is a toy that goes down and bounces lots? No, it can actually be used as an antenna and it's been taken into space. That's the metal version, not the plastic one. To help send signals and boost radio whilst floating up in the air. You know what? I never look at some of these things and think... Why is it there? But now I'm questioning everything is why are these black dots on the edge of windows in cars? The black dots heat up faster than the rest of the window, allowing the window to not expand and break when it gets really hot. So these black dots are actually here for a safety reason. Oh yeah, there's a small hole on locks. But why are they there? They help to drain water from locks and stop it from clogging up with gunk. You can even put oil inside this hole here to help make sure the inside of a lock runs smoothly. Now that's a dedicated lock and gear. There is nothing that you can't tell me about hangers. Like, surely I know everything about them. But no, wooden hangers are made from cedar wood that helps repel moths to stop your clothes get eaten. I need to get rid of all my plastic ones now. Wait, why do they put holes in the bottom of your shoe? It just is asking for water to go in. Apparently, it's not for airflow, but for basketball players to fine-tune 
doing the fit of their shoe with laces. I guess you can make it wrap around your foot really tight for those intense games. We all love popping bubble wrap. Hit the thumbs up button if you love popping bubble wrap too. But it was originally meant to be wallpaper. Can you imagine having this stuck on your wall? I mean, to be fair, your house would be really safe. It obviously didn't take off as wallpaper. They then tried to sell it as greenhouse insulation. Still didn't take off. And eventually, helping to ship computer parts safely, it was used to transfer things in boxes. Wait, there's no way. You know, like, you never know where to put the really dirty spoon that you're using to stir your food. You can put it in here and it stays upright. I am trying that tonight. Why do mugs have all these weird holes in them? They're actually so that all the water can flow out when they're drying or draining in the dishwasher or by the side of your sink. That's smart. Albert Einstein is the reason that fridges won't kill me. What, what, what are you telling me that my fridge is secretly really evil? What? Back in the day, there were loads of parts inside of fridges that would transfer around stuff that if it fell out and leaked would not be good for humans and ended up being removed, being condensed to make sure that fridges were nice and safe. Oh yeah, toothpaste does have different colors on the bottom. It's for the machine to basically crush down the end of the packet, which will seal all of your toothpaste in and different colors let the machine know what they should do and where they should stamp it to end a toothpaste packet. See all of these metal bits here, which honestly just are kind of annoying when you're threading your belt through. But I take it all back because they're actually there at points that are most likely to get damaged as you wear your clothing. And as a result, keep things nice and tight and stop it from breaking fair play. You ever wondered why your toothpaste has white, blue, and red in it? The first line that was added was actually the blue one. This was to indicate that it would also give you fresh breath and smell minty. Everyone loved it so much, they added a red one in, which would indicate that it was helping with plaque control. Soon they'll be having green, purple, and yellow, whatever's next. I love myself a little bit of golf. Ever wondered why they got all of these hexagons on the corner and they're not just a round ball? Well, actually, the additional shaping helps the ball travel through the air better. So if you did hit a perfectly spherical ball, it wouldn't go as far. I honestly just noticed this, but there's like embossed 57s on ketchup bottles. And apparently, if you hold it at this spot and give the top of the bottle a tap, it will help all the ketchup come flying out. That's useful. If you look at a stapler, you may notice this part of it. And no, it's not just a circle with what looks a bit like a smiley face. These are actually two different options for the stapler. You've got one for the stapler to go out on either side and one for the normal stapler to go in. And you can twist this bit around to have whichever one you want. It's pretty smart. I've seen this before and always forget its use. The hole in the middle of like these pasta scoops isn't just there to let water go back and forth, but can also be used as a measurement of one serving of spaghetti. So pop all of the spaghetti in that you can into that hole and you have a perfect amount for someone to eat. House plants can actually be really good for you. Our house is filled with way too many plants. So this is great news, as it can reduce up to 60% bacteria and mold in the air, keeping your house and yourself nice and fresh. <gasps> oh, this is good. You know the plastic bit that you put on the top of your cups? Well, you can actually put it at the bottom and you've now got a coaster. I want everyone to try this because this is so useful. Wait, high heels were originally for men. I mean, probably not quite as high as this, but originally shoes had a little bit of a heel to the back of them which would help them stay in the stirrups when they were riding on horses, meaning that your feet wouldn't slip out of them. Did you know that all of these little black lines on your audio plugs are actually there to protect the wire when it's plugged in to make sure that the sound transmitted is as high quality as possible? I learned so much in this video, and don't forget to check out the new Pokemon card Silver Tempest expansion. Link in the description. I hope you can pull some amazing cards just like I did. Click on screen here to check out some of the funniest designs fails. I'm about to disappear, so I'll see you over there.